Hey there, and welcome to Bug Eye Travel. Today I'm going to show you the top 10 places to visit in Costa Rica. Make sure to watch until number one because it's truly a surreal and unbelievable experience. Costa Rica is geographically diverse and a popular destination. There are many reasons to travel to this amazing Central American country. Let's get right to it. Number 10. Nicoya Peninsula The Nicoya Peninsula sits along the Pacific Ocean. It's well known for its beautiful beaches. The largest peninsula in Costa Rica has nearly 80 miles of shoreline. There are many nature preserves in Nicoya. You can enjoy frequent animal sightings, whether it's sea turtles nesting on the beach or lush trails winding through the jungle. There are colorful birds, horseback tours, rivers, waterfalls, and even caves to explore. Head up to Tamarindo in the north end if you're looking for great restaurants and vibrant nightlife. Playa Grande and Playa Negro are some of the more popular beaches. The surfing action was even featured in the 1994 movie Endless Summer 2. Number 9. San Jose San Jose, Costa Rica's bustling capital, is home to a large international airport. So if you happen to fly in there, it's worth taking a few hours or even a full day to check out the city life. If you'd like to taste some of the country's restaurants, cafes, and bakeries, you can stop at Barrio Escalante. Or if you'd prefer to admire architecture and vintage mansions, check out Barrio Amon. Downtown, in the Plaza de la Cultura, you can take in the collections at the Pre-Columbian Gold Museum. There is also a Jade Museum in the Plaza de la Democracia with more stunning pre-Columbian artifacts. If you're searching for something more sophisticated and upscale, consider heading five miles west to Escazú. The U.S. ambassador to Costa Rica calls it home. This vibrant city offers enough urban treats for any traveler, but is close enough to the rainforest to make jungle trips easy too. Number 8. Arenal Volcano Costa Rica is known for its impressive volcanoes, and one of the best known is Arenal. At 5,000 feet high, its peak grazes the clouds. While it's currently dormant, it was active between 1968 and 2010. Since it's resting, it's a great time to take a look. In this 30,000 acre national park, inside the half a million acre Arenal Tiladan Conservation Area, you can ride horseback, hike, raft on rivers, visit hot springs, or even try zip lining. It is only possible to hike the volcano's base, and at times it even spews smoke. Search out a guide to get maximum enjoyment from your adventure. The best place to find that is the nearby village of La Fortuna.
Number 7. Corcovado National Park. This national park is 160 square miles of Central America's most biologically diverse regions. You can hike the trails of this thick jungle and hear colorful birds, see scampering squirrel monkeys, or catch a glimpse of the unusual tapir. Insider tip The best time to see wildlife and avoid crowds is early morning. The park opens every day at 7 a.m. It's located on the South Pacific coast, and entrances are at San Pedrillo, Los Patos, or La Leona. You must have both a reservation and a guide to enter the park. The concierge at your hotel can usually arrange this for you. The park also includes 20 miles of beaches if you need to rest from all that hiking and catch some sand and sun. Enjoying the video so far? Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Number 6. Guanacaste. Guanacaste, the Gold Coast of Costa Rica, has secluded beaches and dry weather. You can perfect your surfing skills at Playa Avellana or check out hot springs and waterfalls at Rincon de la Vieja National Park. Enjoy more than 400 miles of the Pacific coastline with a dazzling view of the mountains. You can also visit the Rincon de la Vieja volcano. One of only five active volcanoes in the country. Costa Rica sits on the Central American volcanic arc with one of the densest areas of volcanoes anywhere in the world. Rincon is active, but visitors may still safely explore the region. Take in the boiling mud, Rio Negro Hot Springs, or Catarata La Cangreja Trail, which ends in a beautiful waterfall. If you visit during the dry season, your reward will be tons of sunshine, beautiful foliage, and abundant wildlife. Number 5. Manuel Antonio National Park. This park is only 7 square miles but packed with fantastic scenery. Manuel Antonio National Park is in the Central Pacific region, 100 miles south of San Jose. You can book a tour or even take a public bus if you're feeling brave. Playa Espadilla is quieter and backs right up to the rainforest. Watch out for the monkeys who might dig through your things in search of treats. You may also see sloths, agoutis, iguanas, and even multicolored crabs. Don't forget to try some snorkeling on the coral reef. The beaches are unbelievable, and you'll be sure to take lots of pictures to send back home. Just watch that a monkey doesn't get your camera. Number 4. Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve. Hiking through a cloud forest is an unforgettable adventure. The Monteverde Reserve is 35,000 acres of a lush rainforest with well maintained trails and easy access. 
If you're not up for much hiking, you can see the view from a zip line or tram. The wildlife diversity is the epitome of what Costa Rica offers. It's all here. More than 400 different types of birds, over 100 mammals, and an unbelievable 1,200 species of amphibians call this reserve home. It's a popular destination in Costa Rica, so plan to arrive early. It's in the Northern Plains, about three hours northwest of San Jose. Hiring a guide is highly recommended. They can help you see and hear things that you might otherwise miss. There's even a small restaurant and gift center on site. Number three. Tabacón Hot Springs. Tabacón Hot Springs sits at the base of Arenal Volcano National Park, and it's worth a visit if you're in the area. Here you may relax and enjoy a top-notch spa experience. You'll find every temperature gradient in the different pools of water heated by the volcano, ranging between 72 and 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Walk freely from one to another until you find your bliss. Choose a volcanic mud wrap, indulge in a massage, or try a coffee exfoliation. There are two restaurants serving everything from classic Costa Rican fare to other international delights. There's even a lodge if you'd like to stay overnight. Tabacón Hot Springs offers a genuine treat and a well-deserved vacation experience. You'll want to make early reservations, particularly if you plan to be there during peak tourist season. You're worth it. Number 2. Tutuguero National Park this national park is only accessible by plane or boat. However, if you're looking for remote adventure, you can find it here. It's the second largest wetland in Costa Rica, and it's a bit off the beaten path. Not the easiest one to get to, but well worth the journey for wildlife enthusiasts. The trails are aquatic, with canoe travel the most common means. Between July and October, you can see the nesting of loggerhead, green, and leatherback sea turtles. This park is also a habitat for manatees, toucans, red-eyed frogs, monkeys, more than 400 species of insects and spiders, dashing lizards, and the magnificent blue morpho butterfly. This excursion will take a little extra planning, but it will be worth it. And the number one place to visit in Costa Rica is Irazu Volcano. Erazu is the highest active volcano in Costa Rica and stands at 11,260 feet. The view is fantastic and you can see Lake Nicaragua from its peak on a clear day. It resembles the set from an outer space movie with five different craters. There is a surprising lack of the thick jungle and abundant wildlife found in the rest of the country. If there's been sufficient rain, the Diego de la Haya crater will fill with cerulean blue water. It's a magnificent photo opportunity. The paved trails allow easy and safe viewing. If you wish to avoid crowds, planning to arrive at Irazu early is best. The entrance is about 30 miles west of San Jose. Tours are available and are your best option for getting there and making the most of your visit. Don't forget to bring a light jacket as it can get chilly at that altitude. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more travel videos of fantastic destinations worldwide. Be sure to check out my Caribbean Gems playlist for even more inspiration. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.